guys welcome back to the channel um, sorry this is a Tuesday not a Monday that I'm probably uploading this but I was busy my bad but today I have the hip dot clueless collection I'm gonna be honest when I bought this I thought that clueless and legally blonde were the same movie but turns out that they're not they're actually two completely different fucking movies so with that being said I don't really I've lost the nostalgia I've had for this collection but nevertheless, the products look really interesting, and I really like them, and I already bought them, so like, might as well give them a fair shot, and I'm gonna watch Clueless this week, so kind of like, see like how these products relate to the movie, but if you guys want to see like a review and like trying the products, please keep watching. Show you guys like the different products that are included in the collection before we go into the video. So the first one I'm pulling out of the bag is the uh, lip oil trio, and there's three lip oils here. Each one has, you know, different color. My packaging is a little wonky, but... Yeah, I'll make sure to swatch of these and try them on so that you guys can see what they look like. And the next product here we have is the eyeshadow palette, which I'm really excited for. I have a lot of the other Hip Dot collaborations, like the Hello Kitty one and the MCR one. And I know that Hip Dot has a great eyeshadow formula, so I hope this does not disappoint because I really like the color story. It's very neutral. You guys will see. We'll talk about it then. And finally, the last product that they included in the collection is these. There's bubble wraps up to it, but it's the blush palette, which is super cute. They literally killed it with the packaging on this collection. This is adorable, but this is supposed to be like a four shade blush palette. I brought you guys in closer because the first thing we're going to be trying is the blush palette. So. It just says, I was totally clueless. It's like in a old phone style. It's very, very cute. And it's this beautiful millennial pink color. I think the whole collection is like this millennial pink color, except for the um, lip uh, oils, which have the uh, plaid yellow and blue pattern, which is really pretty too. But also, this is the blush palette. It's super cute. And it just says clueless on the back. And it opens up like this. Now, I really am drawn to this hot pink blush, and it is the most basic out of all of them, but I will swatch all of them, just so you guys can see what the colors look like on someone that's like my skin tone. And if you guys care what I'm wearing on my face already, I'm wearing the Duracol foundation. Yes, the most full coverage foundation in the world. I just did like one drop of it, just because I'm having a really bad acne breakout, and I want it covered. And then I just have the Wet Wild Photo Focus Powder and the Maybelline Adrian. So, I mean, let me just hop into the blushes. Oh, I'm gonna try that first hot pink blush I told you guys about. Um, I think it's called Way, Way Harsh. <laughs> I'm not sure. It has the names here. They're not actually written on the packaging anywhere. And I'll make sure to swatch these three, but I'm using the AOA Studio F13 brush. And yeah, let's just go in. Oh, I'm kind of nervous. I haven't tried any of Hip Dot's face formula yet, but I'm really excited to see like what it's like. So I'm just gonna... Go, oh, oh, she's she's really pigmented right off the bat. I literally just dipped my brush in, but this color is oh, okay, okay. I may have made a little bit of a mistake putting that much. We're just gonna use the brush I used to put out my powder to kind of blend it out. It's actually super pretty. Oh my gosh, and it's super super bright and in your face. I really like that. No, I cannot say if this fits the movie. Because like I said, I have not seen the movie because I thought it was legally blonde. It's not. They're different. I'll watch Clueless this weekend, I swear. But I'm just going to go in on this side with a slightly lighter hand. And I like to take my blush up to my temples. I'm a little bit weird. I don't know if I did that on that side. And yeah, so I'm just going to a little bit more. And then I'm going to blend it out with the same brush I used for my powder. And it's really, it's blending well. Um, I don't really have any problems with it. The color is super pretty too. Wow. Wow, I really like the formula. After some blending, here it is. I wanted to add some on my nose. Just give me that little sun-kissed look, you know. Very cute. They are super, super pigmented, so I would be very careful with it if you're going in with a heavy hand, which is what I did because normally blushes are like kind of sheer, so I'm like, damn, I love blush, I want it a lot, so I kind of went in with a heavier hand, 
but of course you don't have to and I put way too much on my nose once again this is common theme of me doing too much but nevertheless the formula is great I feel like this is comparable to like maybe ColourPop's formula but it's just a little bit more pigmented it's as blendable as ColourPop's formula but it's just more pigmented yeah so let's just swatch the other two three colors yeah other three colors which are i'm outie as if and totally buggin so i'm outie oh i'm outie as if totally buggin so those are the order and i'll just go in with them right now i'm really interested to see how this shimmer blush is different from the matte blushes or if there is a difference in formula so those are those three and that's just with like just barely dipping in these are incredibly pigmented and this one looks a lot more brown in the pan here let me show you but now that i'm swatching it it does have more like a kind of brick rosy tone to it it's really really pretty so yeah and i feel like these could work as great like blush toppers that will add like a very pretty sheen to your face i kind of want to go in with the one called i'm Audi which is this one i ordered them wrong earlier oh my gosh so as if i'm audi and totally bugging that's the correct order oh my god oh my god i do this every time but i kind of want to go in with this one right here and kind of on one side just to see what it would look like to put on top so let's let's do that right now i just don't know how much is enough we can see if it makes any difference whoa I think it added like a really beautiful sheen to the face and some color, but I gotta blend that in a little bit. I didn't expect it to add that much color. So here's just the plain side with just the pink matte blush, and here's the one with the pink matte blush, and then the kind of rosy one with the sheen. I think there definitely is a difference. This side looks a lot more glowy, and I think it would make a really great summer look. Of course, you don't have to layer them like I did. I just wanted to see what kind of effect it would have, but these two layered, gorgeous. This on itself would probably give you a really nice summer glow. I really like it. These get like an A++ for me so far. Now that we have the blush done, it looks super cute. I love it so much. I can't stop looking at it. Wow, wow, okay, so here we have the eyeshadow palette. I've taken it out of its packaging. It's called the 411 palette. And can we just talk about the front of it with the fur? My goodness, a lot of people were shitting on it because they were like, that's gonna get dirty and then you're never gonna be able to clean it off. But like, it reminds me of Anastasia's little velvet palettes, like the modern renaissance one. Like, as soon as people got dirty, it's like, it's over, it's ruined. But I really like it. I'm gonna try to take care of it because get everything dirty but let's take a look on the inside it also has that millennial pink outer packaging with a gold rim it's very pretty they clearly put a lot of time into the packaging i feel like so here we have the mirror which says totally betty which i'm gonna need to block with something so you guys don't get blinded by my lights in the back here we go i'll blind it with the sweet talk palette by ColourPop. but here is the actual color story and i think it's very pretty i really like it it's very neutral and not very a lot of people were saying it's not very exciting but i think it's a very great like springtime collaboration but like i was saying earlier the colors to me feel very spring and very springtime i think this is a great palette to come out with especially during this time i really like it i really really excited to use it so let's let me zoom you guys in and if i have like i have an idea of their formula and it's been freaking bomb so far so i hope this palette does not disappoint me the first color i'm gonna go in is this one right here called highly selective it looks super cute and i'm just gonna pack that in my crease i do have like a clear eyeshadow primer on that i've set but i'm just gonna put that everywhere and i kind of want a bigger blending brush so let me go get that bigger blending brush i'm just gonna blend that out and i have no new product on this blush i'm just using what i've already applied to my eye to kind of spread everywhere and it's looking very pretty i really like it up close it looks a little bit washed out but from afar it looks really pretty i want to try doing like one of those like two-tone looks where people have like one eye one color and one eye a different color i think that looks super gorgeous with these colors in this palette i'm gonna take this color called uh fat with a ph and i'm gonna 
blend this very slightly into my crease. I don't really want a lot of darkness in this look, but just very slightly. I'm just going to pack that in there and then take that original big brush I was using to blend out my crease and I'm going to blend everything together. I really like it. So taking that big brush I was using earlier and I'm just going to blend everything together. This shimmer right here called Budicelli. Budicelli. I'm going to put it on the screen if I can because it looks like I'm pronouncing it wrong. It's, I think it's Budicelli. I don't know. The pronunciation isn't the best. I'm just going to use my finger, which is what I found best works for shimmers. I'm just going to apply that on my eye. Please don't mind my nails. My nail polish chipped away yesterday and I took it off and I have not had the chance to repaint them. But I'm just going to pack that all up on my lid like so. Wow, that shimmer is super pigmented and super pretty. I, I really like it. And I really wanted to try like the more purple tones that were at the bottom of the palette. So I think I'm going to go in on that in my other eye. This is my finished completed look. And I know since I last left off, I was like only had one eye done so let me talk to you guys about what I did so on my other eye I put in the shade doll face in the crease then I put in a fat with pH back also into like kind of deepen it up a little bit and then I used the shade whatever on my lid and then I put the shade highly selective on my lower lash line and then I put doll face on the opposite side to kind of create this type of look they're very pretty these eyeshadows are really nice i really 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 do like them and they blend very well and they're incredibly pigmented and these shimmers are very gorgeous i have to say i really enjoy it i've always really liked um hip dots formula i think they did an excellent job on this collection my lashes and i did this cute diamond but i wanted to go back into the palette and i wanted to like swatch some of the shades that i thought were incredibly interesting that i just didn't necessarily use on my eyes today like this one shade called totally paused right here is absolutely fucking gorgeous so i'm gonna swatch that one um full on monet i'll swatch that one that one's very pretty and i feel like the blues here are really really just like speaking to me so i'll swatch those two just to kind of like show you guys the different colors we can have so here we go so these are those. They look pretty good. I really am interested in the color story of this palette. I really do enjoy it. But I'll have swatches on my Instagram if anybody is curious. So I'll put it down in the description below. I'll have swatches posted by tonight if you guys would like to see the full palette. But honestly, the quality of this palette seems amazing. Every shade was pigmented. Every shade was easy to blend. I did only use about five of the shades. And there are about, how many, 12 in this palette. So half of the palette is unused for me. But what I found in Hip Dot palettes is that the quality is going to be consistent throughout the whole palette. So I can safely say that this palette is pretty awesome. And I'm really interested in the color story. And a lot of people didn't like it. Of course, color story is like up to you and like what you are looking for in a palette, but it really, it really like was a springtime palette for me. I, I really liked it. I don't know. But finally, we're going to get into the lip products of the collection. You guys in closer to that and I, I'm not wearing anything on my lips. I think I just have some chapstick on, which I will remove. Also, another comment about the palette is some of the feathers were kind of like coming off and sticking to me. I've never seen an eyeshadow palette whose packaging sheds, but that's something to keep in mind. It did make a little bit of a mess. It was not like that bad, but it was like enough to know. But here we have the lip oils and they look super cute. I'm super excited to just like try them out. The camera stopped recording, but here are the lip oils, and there's one for each of the girls in the movie. So here we have the shade Tie, and then here we have the shade Share, and I'm going to swatch all of them on my lips, and then here we have the shade Dion. Yeah, so I'm going to make sure to swatch all of them on my lips, but they look super interesting. I'm really interested in the colors and the little tops. They're adorable. I have to be honest. Yeah, let's just get into the swatches. First shade I'm going to start off is with the shade Tie. 
and they have a huge doe foot applicator which is like wow this was made for me i love lip oils and i love ones that specifically have this ginormous applicator but let's just go in this looks like kind of a cool toned nude Oops, <laughs> kind of went outside the lines there, but mm, so far they feel great on the lips. Seems like they just give you like a slight wash of color. So again, this is the color Thai. The color Share, which is probably the one I'm going to be using the most. It's like a very, um, kind of like an orange red, very bright. And by the way, these only come as a set. I don't think you can buy them individually. And the collection also has some other like collector's pieces like pins you can buy like the full collector box which comes in like kind of a locker style and it has like shares pen in it like the, the the pink one she uses yeah i just didn't really buy any of that stuff because like i said i didn't want to and i really didn't have that much attachment then also i thought it was a different movie you know it's just a lot of mix up i just wanted the products but here's the color share which is absolutely gorgeous and as you can see comparing my top lip to my bottom lip it's like just a sheer wash of color and it's insanely hydrating these feel really good i really like them i wonder how long they're gonna last on the lips but this is the color share Well, it's time for some final thoughts let's talk about everything in the collection so the lip products are great i can't speak for their longevity how long they're going to last on your lips what i can tell you is they feel great they are a sheer wash of color and it'd be great for like spring summer i know everyone's still wearing their masks right now as you should but you know like after everything oh we're gonna go on with the shade Dion, which is super pretty and matches the purples really well. And I think it's gonna look the best with this look, so I saved it for last. Oh my goodness. This shade is gorgeous, girl. Oh my goodness. This is the shade Dion. It goes so well with the look I have today. So let's talk about these products and which my final thoughts. So the lip products are freaking bomb. Like I said, I can't speak for their longevity, how long they're going to last all day. But I've had this one on for like 20 minutes. I went to go do something before I filmed my final thoughts and it's, it's hanging in there and it looks very nice. It really looks like a lip gloss, but it is insanely hydrating. It feels great on the lips. It feels like nothing on the lips. It's super nice. It's super, super great. I really like them and then we have the blush palette which i really do enjoy i don't really have many shimmery blushes or like any blush toppers like this so it is something unique to add to my collection like i'm not even wearing highlighter on this side and it looks like i am it's very gorgeous these blushes are very very pretty and i really really do like them and i think the formula is great they're pigmented blendable and what more could you want really and then we have the eyeshadow palette which was really like the highlight of the collection for me i'm high eyeshadow is like my favorite thing it's what i'm drawn to in collections and they did not disappoint and i know the color story is not everyone's cup of tea like i said but it is my cup of tea and the formula is amazing so if you are interested in the color story i would highly recommend pick it up and if you're interested in anything in this collection i think everything's great and i would pick it up those are my final thoughts. I really did enjoy this collection and yeah. So if you guys enjoyed the YouTube video, please, please, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you guys have any, have any video suggestions, please leave a comment down below. I'm willing to do anything. And yeah, so I'll see you guys next Monday.